You'll be sorry, sorry that you ever messed with me. Hey, it's Three-Faced Janus. And he's not going to do anything. Oh, I called it. Uh, Gilliam, you were just a backup plan to begin with, so why don't you back up? Now then. Behold, fast forwarding. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Anyway, it kind of garbles up the sound too, so I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little sorry about that. Uh, and another thing um, that I didn't mention about the arena is that you can actually, I believe, I'd be surprised if you couldn't, uh, come back here after you complete the level just like you can the armory and the vendor. So, uh, just keep that in mind. That makes, that makes grinding even easier in this game. So, let's see, I bet... Huh. Oh, right, I already put the uh, armor slayer in the supply. So, here's what I want to do about that. I want Joshua... Might as well do it now. I'll have Joshua take the iron sword. Um... And I'll just make my life a little easier and give him the armor slayer too. Just have him take on the boss. I'll also have a few other people attack just to get a little bit of experience, milk as much out of them as I can. But uh, really this guy's pretty easy. Just basically just another briquette. I don't know how briquette went. <laughs> no kidding, you have like three soldiers. Ow. Kill him. Oh, you! Ah! Oh, do not die. Oh. You. 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 Well, and that's what happens when you're unfortunate, audience. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, no problem. Well, let's see how good Joshua does here. Yeah. This guy's a joke. <laughs> He's a total joke, but I'm, like I said, going to have a few people attack him first. Uh, wow. Okay, maybe he's only a joke to Joshua, but still. I'm pretty sure, yeah, even if you attack, you still get, uh... Well, if death's too good for me, then why would you want to kill me? Anyway. I'm pretty sure even if you don't do any damage, uh, you still get experience. I mean, I know you do, I just don't know how much. Yeah. <laughs> One point! And, uh... Alright, more of this. Yep. I don't care. In fact, that's nice, because now, hopefully I can... Yeah, I'm in healing range. Fast forward! Yep, sometimes, you know... The uh, men's staff is just what you need, but wow. Of course Ross can kill him. What am I worried about, or surprised about? Okay, well, I've had enough fun messing around with you. Time to die. Oh, and by the way, Sar, uh, just to let you know, death's too good for you. Uh, why would you wish glory to that face? Jeez. Joshua's still... Oh yeah, Joshua's lucky number seven. No, it wasn't. That was actually a lot easier than I remember it. Mm -hmm. She was actually from the... Huh. Oh, well. Huh. Wow. That's not good. 
Whoa, hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 huh? Yeah. Yeah. They're the MacGuffins. Why would you want to kill a MacGuffin? Yeah. Well, yeah. I would have loved... I wonder if anyone has ever, like, drawn fan art of what Vigard looked like beforehand. Because, personally, I just can't even visualize that. Utterly has never been used better than in this sentence. Why are you turning to Seth? You're the princess. I think it's not like princesses ever really assert their authority in any of these games. Oh, great. This guy's gonna complain about the good old days again. I thought you were trying to keep your identity secret. That guy could have been a spy. Jeez. Oh, wow. Now I would have never guessed in a million years that we'd get more backstory on Sar. Jeez. Leon. Who's Leon? I really wish... Wait a minute, is that that one Leon? Andros has ordered us to take you down. I don't think so. All right. Thank you very much, good sir. We got ourselves a guiding ring. And now we save. 5X, huh? Yes, this is a bonus chapter. I'm not sure uh, what the conditions are to unlock this chapter. But uh, anyway, they'll probably pop up here in a caption. But, all right, more Valter. You can never get enough Valter. And this guy, very chiseled looking. Kind of reminds me of Gregory Peck. I don't know why. Tirado. Well, surely you don't mean Joshua. Joshua's way more than adequate. He's above average. It's a step up. He steps up. Anyway. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> I think a cinematized battle between Vulture and Ephraim would be one of the coolest things in a new video game. I'm just saying. Okay, so Toronto's a bit of a strategist too. Leafy playpen? Oh, in Leafy. Okay. Yep. That would be the forest. Huh? Okay, then. One of these guys is a, a traitor, then? Alright, finally we get Ephraim. Yeah! We've got a couple of knights here. Ford. That's the one on the left, obviously. He reminds me of somebody. Now oh, whatever. Yep. Ah oh, no, that's that's just lies and slander. <laughs> oh, 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 the irony of that statement. And the other one's name is Kyle, huh? Oh boy. It seems like whenever I have a character named Kyle in a video game, they just die. Just whenever there's a character named Kyle. And hey, this is Orson, huh? That's a cool little collar you've got there. No, of course not. I mean, geez, it's unguarded. <laughs> Are you sure you're quite sane? 
No, Sane was in the other game, remember? Speaking of that, uh, Ford and Kyle are actually another part of this uh, recurring thing in Fire Emblem where you get two Cavaliers and uh, they're red and green themed. Get it? Red and green, two similar units. Anyway. I love how Ephraim uses strategy a lot and doesn't have to have, you know, someone else to do it. But uh, Ford's incredibly deep philosophical question will have to wait until next time. So I will see you then. Goodbye.